Members of the National Council of Provinces have visited the troubled Krasani Baruguanath and Charlotte Matlaige Academic Hospitals today. It comes as the facilities face infrastructure challenges, backlogs and staff shortages, which at times has left patients being treated in corridors. For more on the story, we're joined by NCOP uh, delegation head. This is Tokhauteng Wini Nguenya. Good evening to you, and thank you so much for your time tonight, Ms. Nguenya. Uh, firstly, you know, let's speak immediately about the concerns that you as the NCOP have noted following this visit. Uh, thanks very much. And your name? Kathy. Okay, thanks very much, Katie. Then uh, our visit today have gone very well. Uh, our aim of visiting these uh, two hospitals, it was to, to check in terms of the development, since uh, there are some challenges that uh, are in the hospital, and to check that uh, on the challenges that they were having, is it any improvement since we have visited last? Same apply as Charlotte Matlaghi. We are checking that uh, since Charlotte Matlaghi have fire, how far are they? So this is the purpose of the visit of today on two hospitals. And did you find any improvement? Yes, we did find any improvement. But it doesn't mean that there are no challenges. There are still have uh, uh, challenges um, more, although they do have improvement. But there is a lot of uh, in challenges. Uh, if at far in terms of the challenges on their presentation, they've got ten points that shows that there are challenges. It tells you that there's a lot that needs to be done. Let's In terms of Charlotte McCray, yes, now, yes, there you, is you challenges also. Mm. But, uh, although there are improvement, but uh, it, it is not something that you can say it can be done today. We are still going to go a long road to, to see the different uh, at Charlotte McLean. Although what they gave us is that um, the renovation um, on some, like parking and other one and a half portion, it can be finalized 2003. It tells you that uh, it's still going to take a long time to be finished. Uh, Charlotte Matlake. Given the challenges that, that uh, given the challenges that 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 Charlotte Matlake specifically has been having, and the fact that so much money has already been spent going into that hospital, and yet only a portion of it has been reopened, is that not of concern to parliamentarians? And how are you going to be ensuring that there is due oversight when it comes to the projects uh, that are being undertaken there to expedite its reopening? Because it's really creating pressure on the other hospitals in the region. Yes, it did a challenge uh, in terms of the pressure of other hospitals. But uh, as we are getting a briefing today, uh, we can't put any pressure on a situation like hospital. It's not like, a, a, for example, a, your house or my house, that I can stay maybe on the tent and waiting for my house to be built. Remember, we're talking about hospital here. We're talking about people that are in the ICU. We're talking about people that they are sick, but we cannot remove all of them to the hospital. Moreover, some, or some of them they have removed to Para, but still there is a challenge. Para now is overcrowded uh, because uh, Charlotte McLega had to remove some of their patients to them. So to build the hospital is not easy like uh, any house that you need to, uh, to build. But uh, hopefully, uh, our visit will make a big impact in terms of other structures that they 
they said they are busy with it, seeing that uh, there will be a less overcrowding. Mm. But it's not an easy thing. I don't want to lie to you. Uh, of so course, difficult. the difficulty again with the issue of Charlotte Magdage is the fact that the delays in as far as the reconstruction of the hospital are not solely due to the fact that it's very complicated to build hospitals, but the corruption cases that need to be investigated then further stall the processes. Yes, uh, I agree with you that uh, the corruption cases need to be investigated, but uh, we are still waiting for a report. Do you know you can make your presentation, but if your presentation doesn't have a full report, uh, to us as members of parliament, we are not yet getting the report. Hence, we ask them to make a time frame of their report, full report. What happened? Who was doing that? Is it those people arrested? If they are not arrested, who have done it? So we have asked those questions like that. So as and it stands, also the report, uh, uh, sure. full report. Yeah. So as it stands then, when it comes to the pressure that is being experienced at Chris Honey Baragwanath Hospital, as members of parliament, are you going to be making a recommendation to the provincial health department at all when it comes to capacitating a hospital like Bara with medical staff? Because, you know, just, la just in the last couple of weeks, we've had medical staff there protesting because they want to let people go, and yet there's insufficient capacity to treat patients. Uh, I, I was still going to talk with the provisional, but today we're focusing on the presentation that they gave us. We never go on those uh, situations of uh, protesting and all that. Yes, but, but from what you have seen at, at Chris Honey today, is that enough for you to be able to justify the reason why it needs greater capacity? Yes, uh, we, 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 we feel strong that there must be a capacity. But the challenge that we're facing is that we have, we have uh, got the report that uh, says that uh, there's no, there's no, there's vacancy that uh, was not uh, funded.